This video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. Special thanks to EA for allowing me to participate in this event. Hello my beautiful buddies and welcome back to a speed build! So today is a special speed build because this speed build is for Teeny Living, the new um, stuff pack for The Sims 4. And <clears throat> I have to say, I really like this stuff pack. It was really, really cute. Um, I am. I explored the um, what do we call it? The build aspects. I was gonna say creatism. This is not creatism at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, I decided to go ahead and make like a like a cute teeny beach shack thing. And as someone who doesn't like make teeny homes or micro homes or um, whatever they're called. <laughs> um, I find this is actually a fun challenge. Like, it was a fun challenge. Like, I got into my house into the small home category. There's, like, three tiers, it looks like. Um, I'm guessing, um, different tiers or different levels maybe have different, um, like, effects. So, I think maybe if your home is considered a teeny home, you actually get a bill reduction or something like that, I believe, um, which is super duper interesting. Um, but yeah, there's three different ty types. There's a small home, there's a teeny home, and there's a micro home. Um, I got to the small home. I was just under 100 tiles. Um, so I think it was a good start for like one of my very first like teeny homes. Um, and yeah, I just, I just thought that just a pretty like um beach home um modern beach house on like right on the water was so so pretty to do um because i haven't really done a lot of um beach lots i feel like i feel like a lot of summers have like really took advantage of that but i haven't really done a lot of them so i thought you know what let's do it because i bet everyone's gonna probably do theirs in like willow creek or something like that i figured something scenic something a little bit different might be interesting um and yeah so as you can as you can see like the build is I'm, I'm trying to like think of a layout right now but it eventually all comes together um and i like decided to go ahead and put like the stairs out on the back um so you can access the like mezzanine level is that a mezzanine level i don't know i'm just trying to be fancy i actually don't know <laughs> but like the top level that's just like kind of up by itself like with the um with the with the balcony um and yeah i thought this how like i said like i like the house i thought it was really cute i think i liked upstairs bedroom a lot it has this like very like cozy relaxing feel to it i love like the dark purples you'll see it as it like comes together um downstairs they have a murphy bed which i thought was really super interesting um because we got Murphy beds in The Sims 3. And I believe in The Sims 3, if your Sim wasn't careful, you could die with them. Um, and that's that's never happened to me. Like, I've never seen a Sim in The Sims 3 die from a Murphy bed before. I don't know. Maybe I just didn't get lucky or, I guess, unlucky. Um, <laughs> but it can't happen in The Sims 4, I think, again. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I I didn't watch the live stream, which I probably should have before I did the speed, before I did this, not speed build, like, voiceover, um, but yeah, <laughs> um, I, I, like, want to say I'm, like, 80% sure that they can die from these if you don't, like, upgrade it or something, but I don't know, keeps, keeps it a little interesting. There's also quite a few styles for the Murphy beds, too, because this time around, um, you can have like a love seat attached or like bookshelves or a combination of them and like there's quite a bit different ones. I picked the one with the um, bookshelf and the love seat connected underneath it. Um, so it like serves like three in one which is super duper interesting. Um, so our living room also turns into a bedroom downstairs which is um, it's quite space saving um the kitchen oh my god the kitchen was so difficult to do guys it was so difficult because i forgot that we had to put a back door to like the pier patio to go up the stairs so i had to reconfine like reconfigure the whole kitchen but we got it to work <coughs> 
sorry about that i'm just choking over here um <laughs> and yeah it worked out there's there's a lot of cute new chairs and bar stools and like dining chairs that i really really liked with this pack along with the beds um some cute new decorations i believe there's like a new mirror i used in here as well in the bathroom a new toilet um i also too like i've been experimenting too with like building like my own showers like with windows and stuff like that with the open shower from um university pack so i've been like doing that a lot lately um i've been doing it more in the modern homes but i do still like the stand-in showers but if you've been noticing that i've been doing that like my past few builds i just that's just why i just figured it's new why not use it um we i believe we did not get a new shower with this one um but it's okay it's totally okay i feel like we got a lot of cute like little clutter items which i was like really excited for especially like the little coffee tables and like this cute like knit poof thing i easily can say that's probably one of my favorite items in the pack along with like the coffee tables and like the um the new dressers because there's like safe that there's like um you know room saving dressers as well as desk like there was a nice desk and stuff stuff like that like i really really like the aesthetic of it it's like very calm and chill i don't i can't explain it it's like very like cozy kind of like tumbler-esque kind of relaxing mode kind of pack you know what i mean no no nobody okay i know what i'm talking about i hope you guys don't think i'm crazy <laughs> um but yeah i guess um where where shall we start i guess there's also of course two creative sim items as well um personally at this point i have not dived dived into the creative sim items i actually have been working on a different creative sim um that's not that's not from this pack related but it is just like a overall like no cc kind of creative sim um thing so yeah i'm like really like excited to show you guys once it's done because it's kind of been taking me a while but i've been like trying to like slowly work on it and take my time on it um because as you can see um i kind of haven't really been consistent like with my i feel like my upload schedule um because like i feel like right be right before christmas i tried to get get on back with like my upload schedule but then with the holidays and like so much going on and things like that it got difficult for me um but now that i'm back in my own space and i'm not in i guess like bat like back with my um family and stuff like that at home with the holidays um that it makes it it makes it easier for me especially too um this is like this is this feels calm it feels relaxing i love it i love having my time with you guys and i feel bad because like last semester i was so 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 busy with schoolwork and other things and um just keeping up with friends and people in my life um but this semester um i don't have as many classes which is nice but um i am gonna be making like some big changes i guess like that um soon because i am going to graduate soon which is kind of a scary thought <laughs> um but yeah i just i just been i've just been living life guys been living life and um it just feels nice to get back with you guys because i love i love recording for the channel love recording for the channel and i've never forget um creating for the channel i just I just feel like it feels hard to create for the channel sometimes when I have like other things going on and then like I'm like uh like I really want to do voiceover but I don't think anyone wants to hear me like being like I'm tired this is my day blah 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 <laughs> but you get you get the point um yeah so I've been so I've just been like slowly slowly getting back into it because like i feel like on days like that i'm just kind of like well i want to binge watch some netflix and things like that which is oh my god i finally we finally got netflix my family finally got netflix i feel like i was like the only person on earth that did not have a netflix account and it feels so nice i've been like binging a lot of things so if you guys have any recommendations for tv shows um leave them to me because like my friends now have been like recommending me shows that i can watch them which is feels kind of nice so that's another thing that i got like really i guess like sucked into besides on the holidays <laughs> besides the holidays on top of it um but yeah 
what was I going to say? I totally forgot what was I going to say. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, like, I wanted to talk to you guys, um, about, like, I guess, like, future content and things like that coming to the channel. Um, I really want to get back to doing my save file. Um, and I feel like the herbs in SimCity would be, like, a nice break from doing the residential towns. Um, and just be something fun. Especially, too, because, like, teeny living, I was, like, thinking about this. I was, like, you know what's perfect for teeny living, guys? apartments <laughs> so you guys can even enjoy like teeny living in the city like being sitting apartments and things like that and penthouses because i can't think of a better space to like use these items especially like the murphy beds because some of the apartments can be quite small in there um so yeah i feel like it suits a lots of different town so it doesn't have to be just for like a suburban town it doesn't have to be just for a beach town um it could be for the city too or even even the country, even if you want a small little country home, it's up to you. Um, which we don't really have a country town, do we? Not really. I'd say like the best one, I guess that would it'd be the most country. I feel like would be like um, Brindleton Bay, but even still, Brindleton Bay is like more of like a coastal town, just not like a tropical one. You know what I mean? Like a New Englandy sort of vibe to me. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so I would love to know what you guys how your guys's holiday was. Um I had my birthday too. Um so yeah, I just I just had a birthday. So I guess happy birthday to me. Um what else has been going on? Um yeah, not not really much, I guess. <laughs> not really much, I guess worth sharing, I guess in a in a way. You guys don't want to hear about my my life. It's not that interesting. Just day-to-day -day normal stuff, I guess. Um but but yeah oh i guess i could talk to you guys about starting youtube channels because like i feel like i get quite a few comments from one time when i um did a video about like starting a youtube channel that still gets a lot of traction i feel like and a lot of you guys came to me and like write comments which are so sweet i'd be like like thank you for your advice and um you know helping me go ahead and like like um have the courage to like start a start a channel and things like that so i just want to say thank you guys for for i guess like finding the video helpful and like just coming back all the time for me especially too because i know i've been kind of like a little hectic lately um <laughs> but yeah i yeah like i said like now you can see i'm trying to like slowly get back in the swing of things which is good um but yeah i guess my advice to you guys on top of that video is to just kind of like go ahead and do it because i know some people um are the type of people to say that they like want to start it but then like never ever do it and i just want to say that um if you're someone who wants to do it like seriously ask yourself if that's the thing you want to do because if you're want to do it you have to like you have to like sacrifice i feel like a lot of time and of course too like me maybe i'm not like the greatest example because like i feel like my upload schedule has been like a little weird but um but like it's perfectly normal if you've been doing youtube for a while like i have or whatever um to take breaks sometimes if you're burnt out you know um not to say i was burnt out i wasn't really burnt out from this i was burnt out from school i love i love this um but yeah i just that's just basically my advice is just to go ahead and do it and just and don't be one of those people, sneaky people that are like, do that said they're going to do something and never do it. Um, I don't like those people. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, anyway, let's get back to the build. I feel like the, um, the, like, TV console area, I really like that too. I believe it's also a bookshelf. Um, so I feel like there's some cute furniture, especially too, like, this little painting that we got. There's so many swatches and it's so nice. Um, and honestly, like, I can't, I couldn't pick a more pretty, I feel like a pretty place to do a teeny home. Cause like, can you just imagine just being like, sitting down like having a cup of coffee in the morning and just like that being your view in the background that would just be absolutely amazing especially too with like the pool floating in the background that's paradise um yeah if you guys like live by the beach i'm like i'm jealous of you if, if any of you live somewhere where you can go to the beach regularly then i'm really jealous because where i live um <laughs> it is currently freezing and it is snowing out um and i guess just that that's just what i what i know um but yeah i just i feel like that's also a reason why i picked this sunny place because some sun would be very nice right now instead of the cold <laughs> 
but yeah you let me guys know if you guys are getting um teeny living and like what your thoughts are about it um and yeah i guess i will see you guys soon don't forget to pick it up on origin and i will talk to you guys soon don't forget to comment and subscribe and i will talk to you later bye 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 To wonders at dawn of the world full of war. Early sunrise, I gave promise. You said always, and we ran.